Good morning, everybody. Coming to you from my little paint shop by the house this morning. Uh, today is a two-year anniversary for me. Uh, I got hit by a semi on my motorcycle. The lawsuit is still not solved. No issues there that I can do much more about. But uh, it's kind of on the doctors and the lawyers now. I wish I could do something about it because I would sure do some expediting on this crap and get it over with so that uh, we can get on with our lives like we were before. I'm not able to paint. I'm not able to wrench on motorcycles and that was my chosen profession to retire on. I'm 58 years old. I ain't got long to go. And uh, without some kind of resolve on this, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm so frustrated that at times I just, you know, I just don't care. I'm trying to stay away from that attitude, but it's not easy. Um, still about three nights a week, um, I hit the side of that truck in my sleep, and I bounce up, and that, that finished that night's sleep for me. But that's something that I'm dealing with. Uh, I'll just have to continue to deal with that. That's on me. But uh, I just kind of wanted everybody to know that uh, I'm frustrated. Extremely frustrated with the whole affair. Nobody seems to want to do what they do best in my interest. Uh, so I kind of don't know where to go. Kind of stuck. So I'm making do with what I can. I haven't been able to ride my motorcycle or ride a motorcycle in two years now because of the lawsuit. Um, so that's extremely frustrating for me right there. I mean, that was my release. That's where I went to get away from the world's problems or my issues of the day seem to go away. There's a lot of people out there that can identify with that. And from my understanding now, there's a lot of people out there that just don't care whatsoever. If you've got anything to do with a motorcycle, they don't want nothing to do with you. Uh, plus, it takes a lot of nerve to look like this. Anyway, I just wanted to put up a short vid. And uh, I'll be back out in the woods, try to be back out in the woods next week. I hope I haven't bored you this morning, just for a couple minutes anyway, but I kind of wanted everybody to know. At the end of the video, I'm going to post a couple of pictures of my motorcycle, uh, what it looked like prior to the accident, and I will not show any pictures of it the night of the accident or what I looked like the night of the accident. Uh, there's no need in everybody seeing that. But I do want everybody to know that that particular motorcycle has been with me for 25 years. And every nut and bolt on that has been turned by me at one time or another. I built the motor, I built the transmission, and I done the paint job. Plus the assembly on the bike. There's a lot of parts that I made myself. And uh, it was my motorcycle. There was no doubt about that. It was my motorcycle. So soon enough, I hope, this year, I'll be riding again. Uh, I'm 58 years old and I've been riding motorcycles since I was 17. It's not one of the easiest things to do not to be able to go out and take a ride. So guys uh, and gals, I'll uh, be back to you next week with another video. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully I can get out to a little campsite. I've, I've got a little stealth spot picked out. I've just got to do a little more research before I go in to spend the night or two. And uh, I hope you'll come with me. Like and subscribe if you would. Please leave a comment. Uh, I like your comments. Any of them. Good, bad. Don't really care. Uh, just want some input. So, until next time, everybody, we're just waiting for the next big adventure.